This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 278, for Wednesday, the 4th of July, 2018. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Thanks for joining us. So, this past weekend was my birthday. Yes, and we are going hardcore back on the diet because, holy cow, we got two, you got two cakes. You know what? I also got a gift. You did? Yeah. I got, I got a deck of sticky playing cards. It was very hard to deal. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. You got a watch. I did buy a watch. You're really hard to buy for. I, I don't know. even. I don't even do it. I you're, just you're assume. Just like, yeah, I, just I've given go, up. I've it, given up. Go do it. I assume that you've got a stack of boxes on your desk, and I don't I think don't, you do I anymore. I don't have a stack of boxes on my desk anymore. I'm working on that. I'll work on that for no whatever the next occasion is. Anniversary. Christmas Qu- anniversary. Dating anniversary January. in November. All right. There's a long stretch where there are no gifts. Anyway. We've you got to watch. You should I talk think, about it. We'll, we'll talk about it later. All right. I'll talk, I'll, it'll be on my Instagram. Ooh. My Insta. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Go. All right. Uh, We're a little feisty. New, uh, <laughs> new stuff this week. Back in stock. Um, I, I don't even remember how long ago this was. Midori 10th anniversary items. We've you know, got all sorts of cool stuff here. I, I haven't gotten into this. And I think it's that... that notebook club thing. Like, I love the color of the covers. I really like that one. I think, I think they're coming up with, they're, they're, they're coming they're up cool. with different ways to, to do lining. And this is, but you know. Here's a sketch journal. This Ooh, lined here's this. Lined with sections, I like this one. Storyboard. And these are, you know. This one's the storyboard. Oh, that's, oh, that's cool, Look I like at that. that. I people, like that, people, that's cool. If, if I could draw to save my life, I'd I love know. that. What else? What um, do we have in like, here? This is the, the margin. Oh. Lined with margin. Oh my God. Vertical lines. That's You're cool. Stuff. Oh, sorry. Your, your idea diary. All right. What else do we have? Oversized grid. I haven't grid. seen these yet. Oversized grid. Oh. That's nice. Oh, that hurts. Oh, is that the micro? That's the micro grid. The micro grid? That's like super tiny. Holy. What do you wow. do with that? Like I need my other glasses for that. That's, that's awesome. It's cool, but I don't know what, yeah, I don't know know what, what I would do it, with that. Um, what do you got there? You got oh, it's kind of a you got grid with dot grid, grid with, with margin. margin. Yeah, yeah, that's very cool. You got dot grid. Got then there's there? a white grid. White grid? What? I don't see it. I think it's a joke. It says white, white grid. grid. Well, what the heck? Where's the grid? There's no grid. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I need more insane. coffee. Maybe that's a joke. That's a, maybe that's a Japanese joke. It can't be a joke. Let me see. They don't joke. They don't joke. There is a grid. Oh, wow. wow. How do you that's see that? Like, very carefully. That's how you see All right. It. These are cool. So 10th anniversary. Uh, and they all come with, uh, they have all got a little cover on them. You know, it kind of reminds me of wax paper. A little wax paper cover. When you were in school, did your mom wrap your sandwiches in wax paper or foil or a baggie? I put them in my Star Wars lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I did. I don't remember the, the, the context the of how they okay. were wrapped, but uh, just curious. Yeah, no, no, definitely not wax foil. Uh, probably not uh, aluminum foil because that was okay. Too expensive. So. All right, just curious. Anyway, uh, Midori 10th anniversary back in stock. It was kind of a surprise. It just sort of hit us about a week it ago. It just that showed they, up. They were, they were shipping, and I'm like, yeah. what's that? I don't remember ordering anything. So, but uh, we anyway. like surprises. Yeah, well, sometimes sometimes surprises are good. Um, what else we got? The new uh, J Herbin. Um, this is the seven, no, the 1798 <laughs> Egyptian Cornelian. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Uh, real pretty. Um, it's a really pretty color. They did a good job. Let me see this. I don't know when the creative team did this. We this were gone. Is, but this, this is, is nice. Cool. Um, they do such a good job every year. And I love that well, they some do. Years, some years better than others, you know, I think. I like the, the stormy gray. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I like know, the, the emerald. The was kind of, mm, you know. It well, wasn't my you favorite. have to want a brown ink. But they did a nice job with it. Well, yeah, I really like that, that they do one a year, and that's it. Yeah. Um, and they really do a, a very deliberate job of it. So this is like a dark orange. You call this a pumpkin, maybe? Yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, silver, silver sheen, or silver... Uh, Looks gold. Shimmer. I see silver. Okay. Did you see that? Isn't it silver? 
I don't want my glasses on. <laughs> I'm just going to be contrary today because You're I You're going to be can. contrary? Um, no, it looks silver to me. All right, well. That's what, that's what I see because it's got the silver ribbon on it. It's got the wax seal. It's got the nice square bottle. I, I mean, love that. That's a great bottle. It's nice solid. and sturdy. Even when you're done with it, it's a nice looking, um, nice looking bottle to put on your desk. So um, when is that coming out? July. <laughs> <laughs> They're about to start shipping it, I believe. So this month, apparently. Yes. So. And um, Herbin also has five new ink colors also coming out. Um, real pretty. Uh, I'm excited. They haven't um, haven't done anything in a long, long added time, to the line so. in a long time, so it's nice to have some uh, new colors to mix it up. A, uh, a number of, of ink companies are coming out with new colors. Yep. It's like ink time. I've been a I've been a Giovann fan going back a long way. I caught the Saphir and back. Um, that was one of my. I always liked the bottle, um, although now that I'm a little more experienced <clears throat> a little more experienced the bottle's not great but it's a cute bottle the mm -hmm. little, little d bottle the Demitas yep. bottle a um, little integrated pen rest it's nice um, but uh, the ink is great i always like the clots of sphere there's a couple others um i really like the fact that the lear, the lear sauvage um washed out of the tan carpet i had in my office when i knocked the bottle over um so anyone knocked that bottle over it's so low and it's got a low center of gravity Knocked it off. I knocked it off oh, my desk okay, okay. onto the tan carpet in my office, and um, it came out. You can't even tell. So, well, wasn't that one your your friend who makes the the scarves? Anne Marie. She, Anne Marie makes makes scarves, and she said you couldn't. This would never stick. Would never stick because um, because of of the dyes that are used. Um, so I love, and we always recommend this to parents at shows who want to buy a bottle of ink for one of their children. And it's like, this is good because yep. if and when, when, um, there's an accident, this will rinse out much more easily than many other things. So. Okay, awesome. So. Cool. Uh, this is, this is, this is a strong contender here. I like this. I like this color. Um, <gasps> you know, we should do another one of those. Ink, ink each other's pens. Well, you can't tell me you're going to put this in there and then. Look at that. There's even a, the bottom of the bottle is nice. <clears throat> well, I could tell you and then I'll fake you out and tell you I'm going to put something else and in there and then put, put like it in and there we go. Or black in there or something. That's, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, these, these must have just come in while we were gone because uh, these are. Blackwing. This is nice. Palomino, Blackwing, Pearl, Slate Notebooks. Um, we just started to get into these last year, I think. Um, and uh, they did quite well for us. These are oh, new. Cover. These Look are that. these are pretty. They remind me of um, like a, a Rhodia Ice, mm -hmm. just that beautiful mm -hmm. white cover. Yeah, you've got line. I've got, got lines. Uh, you got a dot grid. Um, it's got look. It's got a notebook log in the, the front little. So you could like contents. bullet journal or something yep, in there. Yep. If you were um, yeah, inclined and actually there to do are so. note-taking methods and different. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah. Um, no, these are great. It's it's you know it's and a nice, durable. It comes with a Palomino pencil. Blackwing pencil. A pearl, yeah. I do love those. I have a bunch on my desk that, that Jenny gave me, and I, I I can't I can't bear to sharpen them. I, I Can I sharpen them? <laughs> if you sharpen them, I will probably use them. Uh, but there's some really nice ones there. So yeah, they yeah. Just they they're so. just really creative. Um, I do like them. So those maybe look, those while look you're nice. gone, those are, those are reasonably, you know, those are reasonably inexpensive and you know, nice, a nice solid. Uh, it's a nice feel. It's a nice weight. It's a nice size. Yeah, I like that. This is water resistant too, so you, know, you don't have to worry about it. So while you're gone, like, maybe those pencils will just mysteriously disappear you, from you your desk. You would have to find them on my desk. That would be a challenge. Well, you'll be gone. I could look. I've so. had a bullet point on my to-do list for the last two weeks to clean the desk. You have to be home in order to do I, that. I cross everything off on each north and south sides of that line, and okay. that one never never gets taken care of. So. All right. What else we got going uh, we on? We got a question of the week. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Do I get to read it? I'm gonna read it. You get you get all the fun. All right. Why does Brian thinks his jokes are funny? It's very hard to deal with. <laughs> remember that one. It's a birthday <laughs> joke. I had to tell it. Uh, 
What is the difference between a ballpoint and a rollerball? Okay. Go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, probably going to get some flack for doing a ballpoint question. But. Well, I want to see you answer it because you are so not a ballpoint or rollerball person. You are so anti-ballpoint that one of your dearest friends even made you a little picture years ago that yes. says BP hater yes. with an eight. Yes. It was a, like, like it was a license, a license plate. plate. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Hugh. <laughs> um, if, you're, if you're listening to this, thank go you. Go kind of lay a pen. So. Um, no, uh, yes. you know, I have, as as I've, I've aged, I have seen the light and, you know, while I am 90, I'm 99% a fountain pen user, um, I do own a couple of ballpoints and rollerballs. You actually panicked about one. I did panic about one um, quite a while back. Um, but um, I was worried it was going to be discontinued, so I grabbed it. That was one of my first, actually. Uh, but anyway, ballpoint. Um, typically, a couple things that make a ballpoint a ballpoint. Oh, basically, it's the ink. So oil-based ink. It's a much drier ink. It's uh, you. You do kind of have to press a little harder on a ballpoint. Um, and so, um, typically, ballpoints are capless, so they don't dry out. They don't have a cap. You either twist the the top. They're button actuated, cap actuated, um, any number of other methods. You can usually tell um, it also will have a nose cone. Yeah, yeah, I'll have a nose cone. Um, rollerball typically almost always has a cap. So it looks just like the, the fountain pen equivalent and uses a, a much more liquid ink, um, much smoother on the page. Yes. Um, very, very a nicer, smooth nicer. Smooth gliding yep. feeling. Yep. Yeah, and will and can in some instances, depending on how thick the refill is, you can you can smear, smear the roller ball if you brush your hand over it right away. But in some cases, it's not necessarily the case. It shows when people ask the difference. <coughs> I usually t um, this is not an exact definition, um, but generally a ballpoint refill um, feels more like a paste, and the roller ball feels more like a gel. Um, not to say that those are what it's made of, but just um, to give people a, a relatable idea. Um, you know, and a ballpoint is what everybody's used to, the, the bank pens, hotel pens, those are all right. ballpoints. Right. Um, They're very inexpensive to produce. Yes, yes, absolutely. So, um, yeah, I, I think, you know, I, I think everybody needs to have one. Um, Oh my God! I have that on tape. I, you I, said that I have them as a backup. I really do. I always okay. carry. I have carry Retro Fifty One. Um, You've got the Roosevelt. I've got the Roosevelt, which is the one I panicked over because years ago the Eisenhower was, was discontinued, and I'm at work and I, I emailed Lisa and said, "Pull the Roosevelt off the shelf, just in case. Get me one." Uh, and this was the what three years ago, and they're still making it. Um, but I have it every day. It's in my it's in my my briefcase um, in a. I, Heaven forbid I run out of ink on all the other pens, which actually has been known to happen. Okay. Um, because I, I just, I don't ever clean them. Like, <gasps> like when you post pictures on Instagram and you clean your pens, that's when I decide it's time for me to do it. So Ooh, so we're going to clean pens Once every soon. couple of months. But, all right. Um, I always have that as a backup, so I always know that, you know, if someone says, hey, do you have a pen? You know, right. at least I have that, so... What um, other ballpoints or rollerballs do you have? I have mostly I have mostly um, mostly retros. Okay. Um, bought some during the retro event that we had in Chicago. Oh, those were so cool. One of my first uh, first pens when I started uh, collecting pens back in 1998 um, was uh, I bought I bought a Waterman Hemisphere fountain pen and rollerball set, and I do still have that set. Where? Um, Actually, I have the rollerball here at the office, and I have the fountain pen at home. Okay. So um, I have that. I still use that from time to time. I have a Schaefer ballpoint that was uh, my father's on a desk uh, desk ballpoint. And uh, what else do I have? I have a Pilot MR ballpoint on my desk. Okay. I don't know where that came from. It just showed up one day. Is um, it the one that has our logo on it? No, 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 no. This is a, this is a stainless steel. It's an MR. It's an old. Oh, uh, okay. Um, wow. Old MR. No, no, no. MR? I don't remember. It's a pilot. It's cool. Okay. It's stainless. It's industrial. I like it. It's got a nice click on it. I do not dislike 
roller balls and ball points like well, you do. Well, I know. I, I know. like you them. Got, you just bought a Visconti. I got a Visconti, Medici, with rose with gold, gold trim. Yeah. Well, mm. when I saw it, I knew you had to have it. So. It's gorgeous. You were I like just, rose gold. You were like, gold. oh, no, I don't want it. <laughs> and then I pick it up, and I like, you, know, you pick it up, and you go, oh, that's nice. One of my oh, favorite yeah, pens. Um, order it. My, uh, my dear friends, Jackie and Doug, gave me, uh, it's got to be 10 years ago. At least. Yeah, at least yeah. 10 or 12 years ago um, for a Christmas present. And uh, they brought it. We all we celebrated Christmas at my house that year in Tampa. And they brought it to me. The box barely fit in Doug's Camaro. It was like from a TV or a, a fridge, some kind of appliance or a vacuum or something that his mom had just gotten for Christmas. And so they bring in, and they're struggling with this box, this giant box. You know, get the door for me, and oh, wait, we got to put it down. And then, you know, they're lugging it. I'm like, what the heck is in that thing? Open up the box, this giant box, and inside is this little tiny little pen tiny box. <laughs> but, yep. And it was what? It was a, it was a Schaefer. It was a Schaefer Prelude. A prelude, yep. Yep, that they had engraved, and um, yeah, it was. Good pen. But uh, I have a number of retros and other oh, assorted stuff. things that I keep in my purse. Okay. So there you go. Uh, back to basics this week. Okay. Um, let's talk about the Lamy Safari. Okay. Um, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Lamy Safari. This also applies to the All Star. Mm hmm. Um, you know, solid, solid pen for the money. A lot of people, for some people, the section is a deal breaker because it forces you to hold it properly and not everybody likes to be told what to do. <laughs> right? Some people like to challenge I guess, authority. I guess I've never looked at it quite that way. That's how I look at yeah. it. Um, no, it does, it, does for, it does force a tripod grip and in Germany this is a student pen. Yes, yes. Um, and I, I think if, you know. Okay, what else do we want to say about it? If you like it, that's, you know, I, I, think, I think more people should, should start with this pen because I, I've seen some very unusual grips. Like it's, our Kim. Yes. I, I don't I, know I don't, what that was. Some kind of cross I don't know how she did that. Thing. We should check that out. But that um, one, of, uh, one of its very distinctive features is the triangular shaped grip. And so for some people, they love it. It really helps them hold it properly so that the nib is, is aligned with the paper the way it should. And other people just don't like it. And, and it's a deal breaker. Um, one of the other things uh, that I like is um, we use this a lot for, not this particular pen, but Lamy's in general, for um, a lot of the ink related things that yep. we do. The drawings, um, some of the inspirations. It's an easy and pen to clean. It's, it's super easy just, to clean. You know. And I know Aziza loves the fact that it's easy to clean because she does so much with ink. But you can also swap nibs, and it's super, super easy. Yeah, it's one of the few few pens that you can get a you can get a replacement nib for, and the nibs are, are super cheap. Um, and you know they have they have those nice stubs, the 1.1, 1.5, 1.9, 1.9, um, which is cool. It's huge. And, you know, and they're and they're okay. They're maybe half the cost of the the pen on the Safari, but. Um, they're super easy to swap out. Anybody can do it. You don't have to worry about you know even with with the Tools. Yovo with the Yovo nibs. Sometimes you know you're pulling the you're pulling the feed, and if you don't do it right, you right. can you can break something on the feed. This is super easy. You can do it with a piece of tape. Um, you can do it without a piece of tape. I mean, what you see is what you get. The whole nib sits Above. north of north of the section. Yeah, um, and it just sits on rails. And now you don't want to change it every day because they do have a tendency to to to, to get a little loose. But you know, I can just pull this off and I'm doing just doing this without a piece of tape um, <laughs> all right <laughs> it's, it's coming off it's easier with tape in the first time the second cup of coffee uh, but they come off um, usually what I'd end up doing is jamming this thing in my finger but <laughs> <laughs> we should have brought tape I should have brought tape it's coming it does just come if I can do it anybody can do it yeah lib Ad lib. I'm Ad just going to watch you struggle. I'm going to end up flinging it fun. across the room here. It's Ooh, coming off. There you go. There we go. See, it just comes off. And then, yeah. and we'll have a close up. Yeah. Um, but then the nib just sits on these rails. So whenever you go to change it, um, I always recommend that I'm going to do this without my glasses. Um, you hold the pen upside down 
so that you yeah. can see where the rails are, and I can't do that you, without you my glasses. It, I know. It, yeah. I don't have my glasses on. Uh, you don't. You don't want to pull the the feet though. The feet no. is not not easy to pull. It does come out, but it's not recommended. You will break it, and it, it only goes in one way. So, but it's but, uh, uh, it's um, if you do the the plastic safari, they're thirty dollars. So yeah. it's a good starter pen. It's easy to clean, it's, which is always it's awesome. It's really a you uh, can throw this thing around in your swap bag. Swap the nibs. You yeah, to, absolutely. It's a good time. Absolutely. So, I like, I like comes, the All-Star myself. comes in nice. tons of fun colors. And then every year, Lamy does a limited edition color in both the All-Star and the Safari model. And those, um, if you like the one each year, grab it fast. They go really, really quickly. You know, it posts a little long, but it's not bad. It's it's good unposted. It's a good, good pen. So... There you, there you go, go. Lummy Safari. What else is uh, new? Other news, just got back from St. Louis. Uh, first year pen show, I am going to give them a solid A. Okay. I was going to say A minus. There was only one little small thing that I think could have been improved, but I think that's going to... Yeah, they're going to work on that. <laughs> they're going to work on that, the auction. Um, we, we, we missed the auction. Um, yeah, but we were having fun. We were having fun, partly, partly due to wicked slow service at the restaurant, but... Um, no, for a first year show, wow. Anne I mean. and Dave Morgan, the organizers, um, along with the St. Louis Pen Club, have been working on this show for over a year. Yep. Anne and Dave went to, I think, every U.S. Pen show and a couple overseas and did research. They asked, they, they worked with some of the um, show organizers and picked their brains. Um, they went to all these shows and talked to all the vendors. Um, Ann does have some pl event planning experience, which absolutely showed. Yep. Um, you know, when they were coming around talking to us initially, they already had the hotel booked. She had the room planned out with your tables, and you could pick where you wanted to be. And um, they knew that they needed to have ink testing, and they had... Um, I don't even know how many seminars every day. It was just back to back to back seminar. Um, it was it was great. The food they had a really impressive nice lunch, lunch spread, spread for, for the vendors. <clears throat> um, I'm normally not a fan of having to leave to go make your own plate um, just because you can't always get away. But this was one. Yep. It, it's, it was sort of like an embassy suites breakfast buffet only for lunch i mean you had yeah. dozens of options it was amazing but uh, there were two rooms and actually I, when we, we went in the first room i thought well this is great and they said well there's another room and i think i think on the second day they moved the registration so it was kind of in between yes. so people yes. people knew that there was a second room i wish they'd have been closer but you know i think it kind of worked out once people knew that there were two mm -hmm. rooms but each room was huge it was pretty big uh, lots of vendors, lots of stuff, modern, vintage, um, you name it. Accessories, um, it was great. And, uh, you know, a couple a couple repair people, Kennedys were there doing nibs. And Richard repairs, Binder was and Richard there. Richard was there, yep. Uh, Richard and Barbara. But uh, really good selection of vendors. Great traffic. Uh, it was pretty busy. So, I mean, Friday I was shocked. Yeah. I was really shocked Friday, the number of people through the door. And Friday's usually just kind of a, a slow milling around day. Usually um, on Fridays we can... Um, stray from our table a little bit, you know, yeah, keep an yeah. eye on it, but, but you know, we can go and look across the aisle or, or even down the aisle, and we didn't get away at all. No, it was, it was so. good. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> saw some great people. Um, I saw some cool pens. Rob Bader across from me had <sighs> two of the coolest dip pens I have seen in quite some time. Okay. Um, Did you buy them? I was really, really close. I was thinking about reaching out to him and saying, hey, listen, do you have X, Y, Z? Um, he, had, he had a dip pen that was marked, the holder and the nib uh, were Foley. Okay. And the, the end of the holder, so this gold-filled section, and the end of the holder had a Stanhope in it. You know what a Stanhope is? No. Stan I have a Hope. dentist named Foley. Does that help? <laughs> Stanhope is a little, a little thing, a little uh, window, and there's a little image in it. So when you hold it up to oh, light, yeah, 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 yeah. you hold it up to light. There's like a little image. Now, 
And this one had... Um, Some naked lady or something? No, quite often, actually, racy. Stan Hopes are very racy. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a naked lady. It's, I mean, I... Kissing couple, Kissing whatever. couple, yeah, all sorts of crazy. Th but oftentimes they are uh, to commemorate an event. Uh, Waterman had one uh, showing the Waterman building. This one had the village of Killarney, which I'm thinking is, I, I don't know where it is. I'm guessing it sounds like Irish? it's English, Irish. Yeah, Irish. Um, really cool. And it had, uh, I think it was six different little scenes, huh. uh, all within this little stand hope. It was okay. really cool. You hold it up and um, he had that one. Then he had a sterling silver dip pen holder with the J.C. Aiken nib, which is pre-Aiken Lambert. Um, I'm shocked that didn't come home with you. Yeah, it was it was a smidge more than I wanted to pay. I mean, it was worth it, but it's sterling silver holder, okay. a Japanese motif, and then right at the end, right where the, the nib goes in, is uh, a Japanese signature. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like a chop. I'm I shocked mean, you didn't Pony up. I, I may, it was I, your birthday. I know, I know. I may, You could I may, have asked. I may... You may reach out to I him. I may reach out to him and hmm. watch It's his, not your birthday his, anymore. I, I know it's not, but... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, and, 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 and well, uh, uh, hats off to uh, to everybody. Uh, Ann made a, a cake. Yes, um, Ann, and Ann had a cake made. This is... Decent sized crazy, chocolate. Oh my crazy god! Chocolate cake. Yeah, I don't want to. Um, I don't want to think about the calories. And we we it, polished off half of it by the end of the night, and then you know the rest of it went back home. And it, I was, I gotta admit, I was. It's really good with coffee. It's great with coffee. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we went to our friend David Oscarson's David house, house, and David had a little cake. For Brian, um, yeah, that was nice. I'm he kind of all caked out now, though. <laughs> I, I, he, he he's got a pool, and, and, and he, he mentioned to bring his, you know, bring your suit, and I'm like, well, you know, I don't ever bring my suit to pen yeah, shows. Yeah, I don't bring, a, you know, I never have time for that, and I really wasn't thinking that that. I don't want all my pen friends to see me in a bathing suit. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Go but there. everybody's <laughs> in the pool, you know, or uh, not everybody, but there are a lot of people in the pool playing a little volleyball. Water, it was water cool, polo. gorgeous space. Um, so we had a good time, barbecue, it was and nice just to sit out. You know, it was. You know, it was. I thought you and John Gillette were going to get sunburned up there on the, the tier, but uh, no, gorgeous, gorgeous space. So yep. thank so, you, David and Veronica, for having us. So that was nice. Um, but lots of cool pens. Um, um, did hear a couple of jokes. So, you know, uh, Bob, send that joke, email that no, joke no, no. to me. I'm telling it. Oh, you're going to Next tell week. It? You, I got it. You make sure you got it? Okay. I got it. I know. Um, it. So I wrote a couple down. Um, that's good. But um, Are any of them funny? Probably not. Okay, good. According well, to you, at least you're I thought consistent. So. If I write them down, they're they're good enough. Okay, a um, so. couple shout outs, um, hugs to Vicky, and we saw Bob and Lori. Yep. Um, yep. Yesterday we had a. Uh, I don't even know what day this is. Um, it's Fourth of July. I know. Um, <laughs> we're still unpacking, so I'm confused. Um, was it Sunday or Saturday? We saw CJ. Sun. Yeah, and I don't remember his friend's yeah. name. They were a trip. They were they were awesome. Um, they were awesome. We we got to see some people. We um, I think it was late Saturday because I'm I, late Saturday. I'm always a little you know I'm a little goofy. Really? Yes. You don't get goofy. Well, you know, it's been a long day, and you know, you're tired. Right. It's already so, been a long weekend. By Saturday know. afternoon. All right. Um, no, we had we had some fun with a lot of customers. Uh, oh, big shout out to Jocelyn and the girls, Chris's right. pharmacists. Definitely, uh, I, I. Good show. It's a good show. Good it, show. I mean, it's centrally located. Um, definitely, it's already booked for next year. I think yep. it's the week earlier. Yes. Uh, so which is probably really great for my diet because it won't fall on my birthday this there time. There you go. Um, um, but. Uh, and it's our second closest show. Second how closest show, how yeah. crazy is that? It definitely, definitely make it. So, yes. um, you know, shout out to John and Carol too because that they're awesome to hang out. Yeah, with. yeah. And Bryce. And Bryce. Oh yeah, yeah. Can't forget Bryce. Um, and we did carpool, carpool karaoke. karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. There were there was there was no proof on that. Yeah, so. no. It was um, um, on the way to David's house. There were seven of us in the car, including Detlef and Cindy Bittner and John, Carol, and Bryce Gillette. So we we had a really good time. There you go. Anyway, there's a recap of St. Louis. Uh, right. One last thing I think we should talk about because it's it's freaking awesome. Back to business, baby. Uh, terabyte 2.0 just la uh, landed last week. I know. 
You know, um, I loved our original terabyte in green. And the only problem with this was that it made my mother mad at us. Why was she mad? Well, because when you were in IT, this would have been the perfect gift for you. Because Except we created it. So I it know be, it because be of that. But I know. But um, when, it, when the first one launched, my mom's like, that would have been so perfect for Brian or anybody in engineering, IT, even architecture, um, which is why we designed it. And we made 500 and they're gone. Um, and we are bringing it back it's in, in black. And it's, it's very stealthy. It's black. very, very cool. Um, I like it, the black and the gold and the silver. And it's just, it's, I, I gotta say, I almost like this one better. What? I, I like this one better. Okay. It's a, it's an, I, I it's won't. It's stealthier. It's an it's... improvement. I think it's, it just looks cool. Um, I thought this was great. It is cool. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, they're in. Um, they just, they just arrived. Uh, we've, we've sold through a good number of them. This one too, though, has this little. Yeah. On the, on the end cap, they put a little spiral there. What is that? Um, but uh, no, like in, in, in for those and for those that are you know actually in circuit board like production, no, it's not really actual circuit board. So, but it's close, um, and, and it's, we've got our good. little. It's just fun. Hidden logo, but it's just a great pen. Where's our oh, logo? Right there. Oh, well, it's not hidden then. <laughs> oh, we're done now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's cool. We're no, very. It's it, was, yeah. it was it was really uh, exciting to uh, to have that come in. Cool box. You got to have the the labeled done on the box yeah. it's just not the same if you so, don't um it's nice. but we're we're very proud of it it's a, it's, a, it's a nice addition to the other one so i really like yeah and the other one we did was our chicago yeah yeah so, so we still have a few of those um there you go yeah so i think that's it for this week um enjoy the rest of your fourth of july yes absolutely um, and, we're gonna uh, try to just take the rest of the day off well yeah sort of um we should mention upcoming uh, Friday, Saturday. Yes. Uh, AP Chicago. You're going to be gone. Um, I'm going to clean off your desk. Yeah, right. Got to find those pencils. So good luck. Um, Yaffa event with Ken Jones, vice president of Yaffa. Um, man, there's going to be some cool stuff. He when when he comes to a show, <laughs> he brings binders like they are going out of style. Um, let's let's see if we can get them. Uh, Monteverdi, Conklin, uh, probably going to have Stipula, Hugo Boss. Paniter. Paniter. Um, and a mystery brand. And a mystery brand that is coming, and probably some other stuff. Yes. Um, and he's so much fun. He's he's so enthusiastic, very, very knowledgeable, yep. just a great guy. He's, he's been in the industry for, do we even want to guess, 30 years, 35 years? Probably, because I knew him 20 years ago yep. when he was uh, working for Burt. Okay. Um, yeah, I used to work for Burt Olzer. Um, but it, he's just he's just funny. He's he's a good guy. He yep. knows what he's talking about, and price points from you soup know, to nuts thirty forty bucks up to four five six seven hundred bucks. Whatever so, you want to spend. Um, and he, he I talked to him last week, and he's like, yeah, I'm bringing everything. Yeah. I'm like, okay, so um, that's you know, exciting. And sometimes he brings stuff that's you know weird stuff that you don't normally see and yeah. old stuff and new stuff. It'll be fun. So Friday from noon to five. Noon to five. Yep. And, and Saturday ten to three. Ten to three. Yep. In Chicago, in Chicago at our store inside so. the Palmer House Hilton. So we we'll look. I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be fun. Um, and then what's after that? You come home and then you leave me again. <laughs> come home, uh, and uh, Miami Pen Show coming up. Um, I, I'm I'm excited about that. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be good. You're just um, excited that you're going to fly. Yeah, yeah, I don't have to. You don't yeah. have to drive. I don't have to worry about that stuff. I don't have to pump gas, you know, that kind of stuff. Not that pumping gas is a big deal, but you know what I mean. Um, so we're flying. I'm fl I am flying down to Miami. I'm going to bring some pens, um, Japanese stuff, Italian stuff. Uh, I might have some cases that I might ship there, but um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a good time. And uh, um, we haven't been in the show in five years, so we'll see what's uh, what's going on down there. I yet. It's hot. It's Miami in July, but you know. Bring your bathing suit. I'm gonna bring the bathing suit. Why not? <laughs> so uh, you know, David, if you're watching, you get down to Miami and we'll go swimming. There you go. So anyway, I think that's it for this week. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, stop in AP Chicago Friday, Saturday. We'll see you there, um, and tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Pens, ink, and paper. Is that all? Come up with a fourth one. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, follow the blog for news, ink reviews, all sorts of event announcements and other stuff. And follow us on social media as Anderson Cuts. Have a great day. Bye.